Shibuya has so many things to do. I think you need at least two days to fully enjoy Shibuya. Shibuya is a super recommended spot where families, couples, friends, and even solo travelers. Since you are watching this video, it means you are planning to visit Shibuya in the very near future, right? Well, we are tour guys, so we can customize tours just for you. So, click our tours now. Huh? No, now, later. Today, as a local Japanese, I will share things to do in Shibuya. I'm here to guide you where to go, what to do in Shibuya, and even give you some tips to fully enjoy it. What a fantastic video, right? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fun and helpful videos. Okay, I'm ready. I'm always ready. Let's go. If you are coming to Shibuya from the JR Yamanoto line, exit from the Hachiko exit. Got it? The Hachiko exit. Wait, Kota. Why it's called Hachiko exit? Well, when you exit the station, you will find yourself at the famous Hachiko statue and Shibuya crossing. This area is known as a meeting spot and a popular place for guys to try and pick up women. I don't do the. Anyway, you will notice a long line at the Hachiko statue. It's always crowded here because it's so famous. Do you know the story of Hachiko? Some people might come to see the just statue without knowing the story. If you know the story, please tell us in the comment below. There's a help center where you can get assistance if you need it. Now let's head to Shibuya Crossing. Shibuya Crossing is the world's busiest pedestrian crossing with up to 500,000 people passing through each day. It's also a famous location in many anime, video games, and movies. Such as Tokyo Drifter. I haven't seen it though. <clears throat> During one green light, around 3,000 people cross the street. If it's your first time, never walk in front of the crowd, as you are bound to bump into someone. When you want to stop for a photo, make sure to check both ahead and behind you. Sometimes you might get dirty looks from Japanese people if you accidentally bump into them. Be careful! There's also a smoking area near the crossing, so make sure to smoke there. Smoking on the street is prohibited in Japan, so please be mindful of this. If you are heading to Shibuya Sky, make sure to come from the south exit. You will see the entrance to Shibuya Sky to your right after you arrive there. Interestingly, not many Japanese people go to Shibuya Sky. Um, I'm one of them. Tickets for Shibuya Sky can be reserved on the official website, and they're 300 yen cheaper than buying them at the window. Just specify the date and time of your visit when purchasing the ticket online, and you can smoothly enter through the gate on the 40th floor by presenting the QR code. When you are at Shibuya Sky, take a stroll through Shibuya Scramble Square. It's highly recommended. This building has 15 floors offering shopping, dining, entertainment, and an amazing observation deck. All in one place, right in the heart of the city. You can buy sweets and souvenirs on the first floor. They have some unique sweets you can only find here. Oh, they look so delicious. There were quite a few men there, probably because white day was coming soon. By the way, in Japanese culture, if a girl gives you chocolate on Valentine's Day, you are supposed to return the favor on white day, which is on March 14th. I haven't got any chocolate. <sighs> on the second floor, you will find stylish accessories and various items that you can only buy in Japan. It's really fun to just look around. Be sure to find your favorite souvenir here. Now, let me introduce you to some of my favorite shops here. First, this Nakagawa Masashichi Shoten on the 11th floor. They have over 4,000 beautiful crafted items from all over Japan. The interior design is really stylish too. And they even have collaboration goods made from traditional crafts. It's a must visit spot. Next, there is Tokyu Hanzu on the 10th floor. They have a great selection of stationery and cosmetic products. You can find lots of cute stickers and other items here, so you are sure to find what you are looking for. 
be sure to stop by on your way back from the Shibuya Sky. On the 11th floor, there's also a Starbucks. And guess what? They have a bookstores too. Where you can enjoy your book for free with coffee. Unfortunately, they only have Japanese books. But the atmosphere is amazing. On the 12th floor, there's even a free observation deck area. It's so nice, amazing. You can overlook Shibuya Crossing and take a break on the benches. I didn't know there's such an amazing spot here. I will definitely come here for a date next time. One of Shibuya's newest developments, a towering shopping and office complex leaning over Shibuya Station. 13 floors of shopping, restaurants, and entertainment topped off with offices. Also a superb spot to get a view of Shibuya. Shibuya Hikari offers not only fashion and food, but also shopping for items like accessories. For those who are fashion conscious and seek high quality items, some shops and items will cater to your taste. The 6th and 7th floors feature a dining area with 26 restaurants, offering a wide range of cuisines from Japanese to Italian, Chinese, and ethnic foods. It's always bustling with many office workers. My recommendation is this Disney store. It's so cute, isn't it? Be sure to check it out. Now let's head to the newly popular spot among Japanese people, Miyashita Park. With its spacious and open-air environment, Miyashita Park offers everything from shopping to food tasting, sports, and nightlife. It's like a four-story park opened right in the heart of Shibuya. It's always bustling with many young Japanese people. Let me share with you how to enjoy here. First, visit the rooftop park. It's a must-visit spot in Miyashita Park. And the best part is, it's free to enter. Interestingly, it's a famous TikTok shooting location, where many young people gather to shoot TikTok videos. It's also known as a popular spot for meeting new people, so you might get approached by someone if you're chilling here alone. There's also a Starbucks attached, so on a sunny day, it's nice to relax with a coffee. On your way to the park on the fourth floor, you will find cafes and restaurants where you can take a relaxing break. These casual eateries offer bread, snacks, coffee, and more. If you are into skateboarding, there are plenty of skateboarding shops here as well. Additionally, there is the Shibuya Yokocho with 19 stores offering regional dishes and soul food from all over Japan. From Hokkaido to Okinawa, you can enjoy various regional cuisines. Next, let's head to the library area of Shibuya. Now, let's go beyond Shibuya Crossing and you will see Shibuya Center Street. which is truly the symbol of Shibuya. I will share with you what you can do here. Oh, it's so exciting, right? Firstly, right near Shibuya Center Street, there is a capsule toy shop called C++. Capsule toys known as Gacha Gacha in Japan are widely popular here. This shop offers a wide range of capsule toys from anime characters to Japanese culture and history. Even adults can enjoy them. I didn't try any myself, but anyway, it's a must visit spot. Next up, food! Here, you can enjoy sweet food hopping, ramen hopping, and bar hopping. What an amazing place, right? During the day, you can indulge in ramen and street food hopping. And of course, at night, it's all about bar hopping. You can't miss experience the nightlife of Shibuya. Shibuya is generally bustling with young people. Well, I'm not that young, so I don't hang out in Shibuya so much. Next, I'm sure you are familiar with this shop. Don 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 Quixote. You will find Don Quixote stores all over Japan. They offer 80,000 items from the basement to the seventh floor. Almost everything you could expect is here. Don Quixote always gives you that sense of excitement, doesn't it? 
I will share with you some recommended products and floors at Don Quixote Shibuya. Firstly, let's start with the first floor. Since it's March and cherry blossom season is coming soon, there's a cherry blossom section where you can enjoy cherry blossom themed products. Next, the second floor. Here you will find a wide variety of Japanese sweets. Do you like Japanese sweets? They are definitely the best in the world. Be sure to try the matcha flavored chocolates. Let's head it to the fifth floor next. If you are into anime or cute culture, you absolutely must visit this floor. The Hachiko goods here are exclusive to the Shibuya store. Check them out. Tenga is quite popular among foreigners. I don't know what it is. <clears throat> Finally, the seventh floor. Here you can buy typical Japanese souvenirs and carry on bags. Souvenirs alone can fill up a whole suitcase, right? I understand your feelings. Here, you can buy relatively affordable carry-on bags. They also have a tax-free center, so be sure to visit the seventh floor. Shibuya has an arcade called AdWords. It has four floors, and the first and second floors are filled with a wide variety of crane games. This arcade is highly recommended, especially if you love dolls. They have a huge variety of options, ranging from anime themes to unique flash toys. On the third floor, you can enjoy pre-kula, photo booth, and other games. Whether with family, your partner, or friends, you will have a blast here! A must try is Taiko no Tatsujin. It's also available in English, so you can enjoy it too. The fourth floor is the medal game section. Here you can exchange money for the arcade medals and enjoy various games. Since most games don't have English translations, they can be a bit challenging, but Japanese people love them. I used to be addicted to them too. Be sure to visit this arcade and have a great time. Near the Matsumoto Kiyoshi in Shibuya Center Gai, there's a street called Spain Hill. Spain Hill has about 30 shops including restaurants, cafes, crossing stores, and various good stores. You will feel as if you've stopped into Spain. If you're from Europe, it might look fake. Well, for Japanese people, this street is quite refreshing. There's also a relatively empty each round, so be sure to take a look. Next, let me introduce you to Shibuya 109. To be honest, it feels a bit awkward for me, like a guy, to go there alone. That's because this building is designed for young women, and it's bustling with many teenage girls. However, I brave it and went into to capture some videos. I'm proud of myself. If you love kawaii fashion and goods, this place will be heaven for you. In the basement, you can enjoy cute sweets and goods. It was a bit awkward for me, so I left quickly. But it's definitely worth to visit if you are into kind of stuff. It's my recommendation, for sure. Shibuya Parako is a stylish building popular among both foreigners and Japanese. Let me introduce just six floors, cause I'm pretty sure you will love it. The reason? Well, it's because there's something special for you. On the sixth floor, you will find Nintendo Shop and the Pokemon Center. Doesn't that sound like a paradise to you? Let's start with the Nintendo Shop. It's the first directory operated, officially shopped by Nintendo in Japan. Besides selling game consoles, game software, and Nintendo character goods, they also host limited time events and game experiences. Even someone like me who doesn't play games much got excited. You will definitely be even more thrilled. And guess what? The Pokemon Center is also on the same floor. The same is new too. And there is a life-size Mewtwo sleeping in the mysterious device, just like in the movie. Mewtwo Strikes Back! They offer a variety of original products including game software and many adorable Pokemon plushies. It's a Pokemon fan's dream come true with plenty of services and campaigns. 
Wow, there's so many cute plushies. I used to be obsessed with Pokemon until the era of Emeraldo. And it felt like uh, I was back in childhood. It was so much fun. Apparently, you can even make your own original t-shirts there. So what's your favorite Pokemon? Let us know in the comment. But wait, there is more on the 6th floor. There is even a jump shop on the Street Fighter store. It's sad to hear about the passing of the creator of Dragon Ball Z, isn't it? So let's order by lots of Dragon Ball products here. As a One Piece fan, he was truly a paradise for me. So make sure to check Shibuya Park. Lofto is a franchise variety store in Japan. Lofto is extremely popular among young Japanese people and attracts many foreign tourists nowadays as they can find unique and cool souvenir products from Japan. This store is my mom's favorite. Whenever she comes here, she will spend oh my god a lot of time, like at least two hours just browsing. Lofto in Shibuya offers stationery, accessories, household items, and more for everyday use. It has six floors with free Wi-Fi. Let's have a look at what you can buy each floor. This floor is dedicated to stationary items such as pens, markers, diaries, notebooks, calendars, pen cases, and book covers. Japanese stationery has gained popularity abroad due to its high quality and design. On the basement floor, there are plenty of stationery items available. Not just pens, but also stickers and sticky notes. Many tourists were shopping on this floor. On the ground floor, you can buy limited time items. During my visit, there was a ramen fair, so there were many ramen related goods. You can also buy traditional Japanese souvenirs here. Japanese cosmetics are a hit among foreigners. And this floor offers a variety of trendy products including skincare, makeup, hair care, and body care items. Facial sheet masks are especially popular as souvenirs. On the third floor, you can get unique Japanese tableware and animal shaped mugs cute. There are also adorable bento boxes or lunch boxes. I'm not sure if people use bento boxes or lunch boxes in your countries, but they are commonly used in Japan. Here, you will find a variety of home and interior goods like furniture, lighting, storage supplies, clocks, and photo frames in different styles ranging from Japanese to Middle Eastern. Even if you are not shopping, it's a worth a visit for home decor ideas. This is a sauna hat, due to the sauna boom in Japan. If you are unsure about souvenir shopping, head to the 6th floor of Shibuya Loft for a unique selection of creative items, including statues, paintings, posters, accessories, character merchandise, and Japanese souvenirs. Finally, Yoyogi Park! It's a very large park that's about a 10 minutes walk from the center of Shibuya. If you are tired of the urban atmosphere of Shibuya and want to be healed by Japan's beautiful nature, I recommend coming to here. This park is a famous dating spot for Japanese people. You will see many couples here. Also many young people enjoy lunch and conversations on picnic blankets. Interviews for YouTube videos are often conducted here. So be prepared to be interviewed yourself. There are some vendors where you can buy snacks or drinks when you are hungry or thirsty. In spring, the plum and cherry blossoms are very beautiful. Some plum blossoms were already starting to bloom. What about coming here with your camera and a cup of coffee? With me. <laughs> Lastly, I will give you an important tip. You will do a lot of walking at Shibuya. When you arrive at Shibuya Station, the only way to get around is by walking. Although there are elevators inside the buildings, they are usually quite crowded, so you will end up using the stairs or escalators. Well, since it's also known as a fashion city, coming in stylish clothes also expected. 
Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. Do you wanna come to Shibuya soon, right? Come on, hurry up! Come on, come on, hurry up! We will be waiting for you! Anyway, we are tour guys. If you are looking for a tour guide in Japan, please visit our website and then book your favorite tour guide. Let's enjoy Tokyo together! Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and see you in the next video. Bye! How's it Japan?